All right, everyone. All right, everyone. Welcome to part three of my standard Disney VHS collection, which we will look at titles with the without the Walt Disney Home Video logo at all. In other words, titles that do not have the Walt Disney Home Video logo at all. I'm going to show you a couple of Jim Henson video releases first. I have two different copies of the 1993 VHS of the Muppet movie. First, we'll look at this copy. Muppet Movies, a 1979 film with Jim Henson, Frank Oz, Jerry Nelson, Richard Hunt, and Dave Goles. And it's also got a cameo from Sesame Street character Big Bird, who voiced, who was voiced by Carol Spinney. Tape, print date is December 13th, 1992, and this tape contains the 1991 green FBI warning screens, then after that it's got the coming soon to video cassette screen, and a preview for Fraggle Rock releases, then the now available on video cassette screen with a preview for the great Muppet Caper, then the feature presentation screen, the Jim Henson Productions logo, and then the film. Here is this copy, same casing, same label, print date is December 14th, 1992. This was printed three years before my copy of Pocahontas with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo was printed. And it opens the same way. And I know there are some copies that do not have the coming soon to video cassette now available to on video cassette or feature presentation screens at all. And have the green feature program screen instead. But these two copies contain the blue coming soon to video cassette now available on video cassette and feature presentation screens because this is the early copy. These two are early copies. And next up, I have the 1996 VHS of Muppet Treasure Island. Also a 1996 film, a Jim Henson video release that Walt Disney Pictures theatrically released. And this tape has an ink label with a print date of August 6th, 1996. And this tape of Muppet Treasure Island starts off in 1991, green FBI warning screens. The flashbang coming soon to own on video cassette screen with previews for Oliver and Company and James and the Giant Peach. And then the flashbang feature presentation screen, the green format screen, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, Jim Henson Productions logo, and the film.
Now, we get into some Disney releases that do not have the Walt Disney Home Video logo at all. This next release is the 1997 VHS of Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Which is a 1997 direct-to-video film. And... Here's the tape. This has a dark sticker label with a print date of July 10th, 1997. Now, this copy of Pooh's Grand Adventure to Search for Christopher Robin that I have contains the 1991 green FBI warning screens, and then it's got the Walt Disney Company intro with previews for The Little Mermaid, theatrical re-release, then it's got the Wonderful World of Disney promo, and then it's got previews for Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, uh, Fun and Fancy Free, Mary Poppins, Sleeping Beauty, and The Jungle Book, and then this copy contains extra previews on here, including Schoolhouse Rock 25th Anniversary Collection, preview and the from Disney Interactive promo with a preview for Ready to Read and Ready for Math with Pooh. Then it's got the alternate version of the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover. And then what makes this VHS incredibly awkward is that even though this is a standard Walt Disney Home Video release, for some reason after the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen is shown here, it strangely uses the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo from 1994 after the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen, and then we go to the film. That is quite awkward because this is a standard Walt Disney Home Video release that has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo on it for some reason. I have another VHS that also uses the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo make an odd appearance on here which I am actually going to show you that one next. And And here it is. This is the 1997 VHS of Old Yeller. We looked at the 1997 Laserdisc for part two, but now it's time to look at the VHS. Part of the Walt Disney Film Classics collection. This has a dark sticker label with a print date of August 20th, 1997. Now, I'm going to tell you how the 1997 VHS of Old Yeller opens up with. Now, the 1997 VHS of Old Yeller starts off with the 1991 green FBI warning screens and then the Walt Disney Company intro, and it's got a preview for flubber afterwards then it's got a preview for beating the beastie enchant christmas followed by some more previews for peter pan and hercules along with george the jungle along with the toys who saved christmas and then it's got the wonderful world of disney promo and the stay tuned after the feature bumper 
and in the Lilac Blue Feature Presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover, the alternate version of the Lilac Blue Feature Presentation screen with Bo Weaver's voiceover, and just like with the VHS of Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, this VHS of Old Yeller also strangely uses the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, and then after that is the THX logo, Walt Disney Pictures logo from 1990, and then the Buena Vista logo. And, believe it or not, early copies of the 1999 VHS of Pinocchio also used the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo on it as well. Considering it was going to be part of that line, but then it was cancelled at the last minute. Since it came out later. And what makes it incredibly awkward is that Old Yeller is a film classics release with the Masterpiece Collection logo in addition. And I've also heard that there are some copies of the Laserdisc of Toy Story that also use the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo on it, but with the distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. For some bizarre reason as well. And next up, I'm going to show you the nineteen ninety nine VHS release of A Bug's Life. This is a nineteen ninety eight film. And the second film, Pixar, released. And... Let's see. This is the most common version that has Flick on the cover. Of course. And... This has an ink label with a print date of March 1st, 1999. And this VHS of, of Bugs Life opens with the late 1997 green FBI warning screens and the Walt Disney Company intro and previews for The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad and Alice in Wonderland and Robin Hood and then a sneak peek at Tarzan. Then it's got the Jerry's Game Short. And then after that is the Lilac Blue feature presentation screen with Mark Elliott's original voiceover. Then the green format screen, the THX logo, the 1995 Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Pixar variant, and then the Pixar logo. Then we go to the film. And all right. all right. I 
I also have the 1999 VHS of The Great Mouse Detective. I already showed you the 1992 VHS uh, when we showed the Walt Disney Classics titles for part two. And of course, it's a 1986 film. And here's the tape, ink label, print date is July 21st, 1999. And this tape opens with the late 1997 green FBI warning screens, and it's got the Walt Disney Company intro with previews for Bells, Beauty and the Beast, Bells, Tales of Friendship, Hercules, Zero to Hero, Doug's first movie, My Favorite Martian, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, and Winnie the Pooh's Seasons of Giving. Then after this, it's got the uh, Watch, Solve, and Win promo. And then it's got the Flashbang feature presentation screen, and then the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And in the film. wasn't going to show you the Walt Disney Home Entertainment clamshell titles, but since, but I might show them anyway, but anyway, I have two Walt Disney Home Entertainment clamshell releases. One has the black background variant and one has the blue background variant. Here's the first of the two Walt Disney Home Entertainment clamshell releases I'm going to show you. This one has the black background variant, the Country Bears, 2002 VHS. And this is also a 2002 film. And this tape has a dark sticker label, and it's got that blue lid shown because it's a 2000s VHS, a VHS from the 2000s. They started using the blue lid beginning around late 2001. Print date is October 18, 2002. Now... This VHS release of the Country Bears starts off with the 2000 Navy Blue FBI warning screens. Then it's got the 2001 Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo with the black background, the film reel coming soon to theater screen with previews for The Haunted Mansion, and then the film reel coming soon to own on video and DVD screen with a, with previews for Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, 101 Dalmatians 2, Patch's London Adventure, Inspector Gadget 2, Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Magical World Special Edition, George of the Jungle 
and George of the Jungle 2, then the now available on CD and cassette screen, the film reel now available on CD and cassette screen, and the Country Bears soundtrack album promo, and the American Country Countdown promo, the film reel, join us after the feature screen, the film reel feature presentation screen, and in the blue format screen, THX logo, and in the Walt Disney Pictures logo from 1990, the Country Bears variant, then we go to the film. Now we get into the only Walt Disney Home Entertainment VHS release that I have with the blue background in the Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo. And that is the 2003 Platinum Edition VHS of The Lion King. And... This one features the morning report sequence in here. It's also got the all-new Circle of Life music video by Disney Channel's Circle of Stars. Label. Oh, I, I'm doing a recording right now as we speak. Print date is August 13, 2003. Sorry about this, folks. That, that was just my mom speaking to me. But anyway, now, I'm going to tell you how the 2003 Platinum Edition VHS of The Lion King opens with. Now, the 2003 VHS of The Lion King opens with the 2000 Navy Blue FBI warning screens, and then the 2001 Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo with the blue background. And then the film reel exclusive sneak peek screen and a preview for The Lion King of one and a half. And then the film reel coming soon to theaters screen with a preview for Brother Bear. And then the film reel coming soon to own on video and DVD screen with a previews, with previews for George of the Jungle 2, Finding Nemo, and the Santa Claus 2. And then the Walt Disney World, Where Magic Lives promo, the Join Us After the Movie bumper for The Lion King, and then the special 2001 Fireworks feature presentation bumper where we get to see the Sleeping Beauty Castle, and we also get to see the film strips of with still pictures of Scenes from other Disney animated features at the time. Then after the fireworks feature presentation screen, it's got the THX logo. And in the blue format screen, the Lion King special edition title. And in the 2000 orange Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then we go to the film. And there you have it. That was all my Disney releases that I've shown you. I've shown you every single Disney release I've owned now, so... At least for the clamshell releases. Anyway. But. I will show you guys these again with Movie and Game Lover 98 next week. So. With part one looking at the RKO Radio Pictures titles. So stay tuned for that.